Eliuhu, welcome back to your country that I'm not in, but you're in your own country. First things first, uh, if you aren't up to date on Doctor Who, then you need to stop watching and come back when you are, because I need you to know what I'm talking about. As of today, there are two more episodes left in the season, Nightmare and Silver and The Name of the Doctor, so go catch up and then come back and we'll talk later. Here's my question. Who the F is Clara Oswald? When Oswin first showed up in Asylum of the Daleks, I was really excited for her as a companion because she was smart and sassy and had that like quickfire wit thing going that kind of made me miss Donna a little bit. Um, but then she went and died. I figured, well, that was definitely Jenna Louise Coleman, but maybe she's just playing a completely different character and she'll come back later because they did that with Free Magumen and uh, Karen Gillan. So I assumed the same thing was going on. And then the Christmas special happened and she wasn't Oswin, but she was because she's still smart and sassy and talking about souffle and the doctor's like, this is the same person. And I was like, okay, well maybe there's like some generational thing going on like there was with Gwen and Gwyneth and their whole spatial genetic multiplicity. Spatial genetic multiplicity. But then she died again. <laughs> and now she's modern day Clara and has no idea what the doctor's talking about when he talks about other Clara or Oswin. And I'm just baffled. And part of me really loves the mystery of it. And then other times I'm just like, what is happening? And I'm really nervous that when they do the big reveal, I'm actually going to be really disappointed. There are a lot of theories that Rose is somehow connected. Because we know Rose is coming back for the 50th anniversary. Which I'm so excited. And there have been all these little hidden references to Rose throughout the season. Like, Oswin had one in her hair, and the pub that old time Clara worked at was called the Rose and Crown, and modern day Clara was always wearing red, and it's just all over the place. At one point, people thought that Clara might be Rose and Ten's daughter which made me a little uncomfortable because the amount of flirting that kind of happens between Clara and Eleven. But then of course we saw Clara's backstory a few episodes ago, so clearly that's not the case. Another big one I've seen is that River is somehow connected. And while I love River, I don't think this is the case. We've seen all of River's regenerations from when she was born as Melody right up to, well, dying in The Forest of the Dead. So if there was a magical regeneration in there between, plus if Clara was River then she'd know stuff and she clearly doesn't. Although somewhere in between River and the Doctor in Angels in Manhattan and River and the Doctor in Silence in the Library, River learns his name. So maybe Clara was the one to tell her that because in Journey to the Center of the TARDIS she read the History of the Time War and saw his name. Speaking of which, how in the name of holy heck did she find his name in that big ass book, which I'm pretty sure isn't written in English? And I mean, the TARDIS hasn't been translating for her because it doesn't like her, but then if that book's written in Gallifreyan, then it shouldn't be able to translate it anyway, and does that mean she can read Gallifreyan? Why can she read Gallifreyan? That actually leads to another big theory I've seen that Clara is some kind of Time Lord, or she's like half a Time Lord, but she's done that chameleon arc thing that the Doctor did in Family of Blood that's made her forget everything and think she's human. I, at the moment I like this theory, I think it's my favourite. I don't know, we'll see. It stresses me out. So yeah, that's been taking up most of my thoughts at the moment. I'm helping Sabrina move this weekend. Next weekend I start working box office at the Southwark Playhouse, which is good. Finally something. Finally a job. Oh, Peter and Alice was just the best thing. It's such a gorgeous play, but it's so sad. And Judy Dench and Ben Whishaw were just absolute perfection. And I'm so proud of myself that I didn't like lose my mind and just pee everywhere. Because I would have ended up peeing on Susan Sarandon sitting next to me. So, you know, there's that. 
a little part of me wishes I'd said hello, but I just know that that conversation would have ended with me like crying in her lap calling her mommy. Little Women was just a big part of my childhood.